So I have just got back from an incredible invitation only private event at the headquarters of Google and YouTube in London. And it was insane. Not only are Google just incredible, like incredible employers, state of the art offices, just everything you can ever imagine from like a dream employer but they really do know how to treat their creators well. Like they laid on an incredible event where I got to meet some amazing, talented female content creators. And we got to listen to some incredible guest speakers and industry disruptors. And it just left me feeling super, super motivated. But essentially there was one thing that one particular guest speaker spoke about that I was like, wow, that would really apply if you plan to move to Italy. So inadvertently, this guest speaker has taught us something about Italy. And I'm gonna share that with you in today's video. So the guest speaker was this guy here, Kirk Vallis. Now he is an incredible guest speaker, super engaging. He has spoken to some of the top companies in Silicon Valley, Google included, as well as Adidas, the England national sports teams and various other high profile companies and organizations around the world. So this guy knows his stuff. And what he talks about is essentially how our mind works, how our creative thinking process works, how we approach problem solving. It's really, really fascinating. But one thing he shared with us, which I think is the essence, the crux to you moving to Italy was this. And I'm gonna get my little black book, which is what they gave us at the event, incredible. So he said that Google have a mantra. So they have a kind of um, motto that they follow whenever they want to implement a new piece of software or they want to make some changes within the company, whatever it may be, they keep something in mind. And it is this, to get uncomfortably excited. I just want to repeat that because for me this is like turning conventional thinking on top of its head, right? Get uncomfortably excited. Now this philosophy, this mantra is amazing because what they do essentially is that for every new project or change or innovation, whatever it is they're working on, they want to introduce, they actually grade themselves on a scale as to how uncomfortable they feel about this new particular design, innovation, change, whatever it may be. And the more uncomfortable they feel about it, the more they know that they have to run with that idea. And conversely, the less uncomfortable they feel about it, the more they know that they need to make some changes in order to feel a bit more uncomfortable. It's incredible, like literally this way of thinking I love because it's so disruptive. It's not the conventional, make sure you're okay with something, make sure you're comfortable with it before you do it. No, no, it's the complete opposite. Now, the reason that I think Google's mantra can help you if you plan to move to Italy is this. Moving to Italy requires a lot of courage. And let me tell you from somebody who did it six years ago, there will never be the perfect time. You will never have everything just right. All your ducks lined up in a row. There were always going to be things that you haven't thought about, things you haven't prepared for, things you couldn't predict would happen. It's just part and parcel of the process of moving to another country. And so this notion that we need to be comfortable with our decision and feel like we're ready to do something before we do it, is actually really outdated when we think of it like that because you can never really truly feel comfortable with your move to Italy. Not really, because as I've just mentioned, there are so many things, so many variables that you cannot control, so many things that could go wrong, so many things that you may not have even thought about that to think that you can have everything all, all lined up, all neatly stacked, ready to go, is a little bit naive, to be honest. And the reason why I think Google's mantra is the absolute essential mantra you need to adopt if you plan to move to Italy is because it just encompasses all of the feelings you're going to feel when you decide to make that choice. Now, I really like this because I kind of feel that any big change you want to make in life requires a degree of discomfort. There is not one major change that I can think of in life that has ever felt easy, at least speaking from personal experience. Leaving the police to start my business was it an easy decision? No. Did I want to do it? Of course. Did I feel scared? Heck yes. You know, like 
leaving my business to decide to move to Italy, oh my God, like it excited me, but also it scared me in equal measures. Like there are going to be so many things that frighten you when you have to make a big change in your life, whatever that change may be, that if you can actually reframe it to understand that you're feeling that way because you're onto something, I really truly believe you're going to take action and make that thing happen because this is the problem. Us humans like to procrastinate. We like to wait a little bit longer, reflect, ponder, contemplate, all of those lovely things that are essentially just time wasters. We like to do them because we believe we are physically and mentally preparing ourselves for what's to come. But as I've just mentioned in this video, yes, of course, I'm not stupid. You do need to do the mental and physical preparation as much as possible ahead of your move. In no way am I encouraging you just to pack a suitcase and get on a plane. You do have to be responsible. But what I am encouraging you to do is to not spend too long in that preparation phase. Do what is necessary to make sure that you are, you know, certain that this is what you want to do. You don't have to be 100% certain, but you know, like along the lines of being in alignment with this decision, and then you've just got to make it happen. So many people stay stuck in procrastination. They talk about dreams and they never, ever, ever bring them to life because they're too busy waiting for that moment when they feel comfortable. Get uncomfortably excited about your move to Italy to the point where it makes you feel a little bit anxious, a little bit sweaty, a little bit like, oh my God, I don't know if this is the right thing. That, my friend, is the sign that yes, indeed, it is the right thing. Because on the other side of that fear, that discomfort, that uncertainty, is a life that you could only ever have dreamt of. It's not easy, hell no. But in those challenging moments, you learn some of life's greatest lessons and that has certainly been my experience and if I had waited until I felt a little bit more comfortable I think I probably would never be sitting here now in Palermo recording this video for you. So this is the biggest piece of advice I can give to you like life can play out in whatever way it plays out in. We do not control that. There are so many variables that we have no control over when it comes to the things that happen to us in life. However, taking action is a surefire way to make the dreams that you want to happen realize and actually become something that you end up living. And so I hope this mantra can inspire you if you plan to move to Italy. Get uncomfortably excited with it. Go against the grain. Don't listen to the world and all their naysaying statements and opinions because there are so many of them in those dreaded expat groups. Educate yourself. Be realistic, absolutely. I'm not saying to come here and believe it's a fairy tale, but take some action and make it happen. And especially so if it makes you feel super, super uncomfortable. I will see you in the next video.